This is the vacant home that neighbors say the two sex offenders will be living in. And as you can expect, they're pretty upset about it. They carried signs, they wore T-shirts, and they signed a petition trying to keep these two men away from their families. I'm in a complete panic now that there's probably going to be three or four more placed in this house because they're just going to pack them in. Sarah Thompson is just one of the dozens of concerned residents who rallied near this 3,500 square foot home on Mount Helix. Neighbors say they recently found out that two sexually violent predators, Douglas Badger and Merle Wakefield, may soon be allowed to live there. We live 500 feet away from this house that they're supposedly going to house these violent predators at, so we're outraged. 78-year-old Douglas Badger has a long rap sheet for sexual assault that began in the 1970s. He was convicted of child molestation, kidnapping, and forcible oral copulation. Neighbors also say they were just notified about Wakefield a few days ago, and they don't know his history. Liberty Healthcare is the for-profit agency responsible for monitoring the sex offenders. We'd also like for you to call, email, and write to Liberty Healthcare. If you can uh, get a hold of them, that'd be great. I'd love to know what their plans are. I want to know how they're going to monitor these guys and how they're going to make sure that our neighborhood is safe. San Diego Superior Court announced the final day for public comments about Badger's placement is Friday, April 9th. Badger's hearing will be held on the 20th, and Wakefield's hearing is scheduled in May. What are you going to do if they let them move in anyway? Um, not sure. Get some more security cameras and amp it up. Definitely won't be too happy if I ever see them on my block. Organizers say they're going to continue this fight, putting pressure on the courts and Liberty Healthcare as long as it takes.